expecting the uh, Ethiopian side to triumph in this game but so does the Tanzanian nation expect the Tanzanians to, tri to triumph in this one so it's one of those situations where we get into a knockout situation and uh, it's simple whoever wins in 90 minutes then goes into the next round if it ends into a tie then we go straight to penalties to decide who goes into the next round and like uh, later on in where we will be playing for extra time as well um, at this point it is sheer pressure and determination and of course, out of the fact that the defenders usually will not jump up to head any balls out. And Boko is the taller of them in that boxer. And he puts it past Abel Mamo. Boko changes the scoreline here, dampens the spirit a bit off the ferns here with his fourth goal of the tournament. That is very well floated in. Nobody is goal side of him, Bernard. And I can sing this song here in, here out. If you don't put a body goal side of a player, the size and with the skill set that Boko has, all he has to do is just get that shot on target. And if it's flying at that height from that close, really nothing Abel Mamo could do. Does well to wave at it, but no stopping this man, John Boko, as he notches his fourth of the tournament. Well, a prolific striker and a man who is predatory as it can get. He changes the scoreline here. Tanzania 1, Ethiopia nil in the 25th minute of the game. That uh, somebody will work on it to be able to use it. Benayeo. Lovely turn onto the left side and gets Bereketa. Still trying to get himself into a good position for Bereketa. Penalty has been given to the Ethiopian side. With Bereket deliberately going down on that left side and forcing things to happen for his side. Well, you be the judge of this one then. Oh, close, Bernard. Very, very close. From that angle, it looks like he gets the ball. And then from that other angle, it does look like he gets the ball. And I can assume the referee watching that from behind. Since the legs go up, and you're, if you're going to make a tackle in the box, you better make it clean and you better make it obvious. Well, I think for uh, Perriket, he just knew that he was already in the box, waiting for any touch there. And I tell you, the kind of words that are exchanged, especially on the field of play, result into a lot of things. A yellow card has been given to Calvin Yondani. I can tell you it's for bad behavior, for bad mounting, which is called descent as well. And uh, the penalty will still be taken anyway. So Calvin Yondani gets yellow carded for some not very kind words to the referee. A penalty given to the Ethiopian side in the 55th minute of the game. We might just change the way this game is going to be played here. But Mr. Rumukiba has stayed his ground. And Said Mohammed will be facing one of the Ethiopian strikers. 
And I think it is the big man himself who's going to be taking it because uh, Gatuach Panom has stepped up to the plate. So can Gatuach be restore parity in this match and put uh, things level? Doesn't want to look in the, di in the direction of the goalkeeper. There's always this belief that the goalkeeper can read from your eyes which direction you're going to take the penalty to. Uh, Gatuach Panom doesn't make it pretty obvious where he's going to take it, but he knows that he's got a very big responsibility on his shoulders. And as a captain of the side, he's got to lead uh, by example. Gatuach Panom versus Saeed Mohamed. And Panom sends a goalkeeper on the wrong side. He will, of course, get the loudest of cheers from the big number of Ethiopian fans at the National Stadium in Ethiopia. And in Addisabama for that matter doesn't seem to even want to celebrate it that much it is first goal in the tournament but the ease with which he put it past the goalkeeper is what he must be complimented for kept his cool and kept his composure as well Arnold captain's penalty big moment also a big player oh that is lovely that is thoroughly beautiful goes to the very corner of that side netting some side Mohammed the wrong way beautiful penalty as cool as you like He's relaxed because it knows uh, there was still a lot of work to be done, but Ethiopia deservedly back in this game, and those fans will love it. Well, from the National Stadium in Addis Ababa, Tanzania won, Ethiopia won. We've got a match in our hands, uh, especially in the quarterfinal. It's a knockout situation, but any man uh, who wins it moves on into the semi finals and will be just two matches away from big prize money as well. At the moment, the 12th man in uh, Addis Ababa will be the most hard 12th man as well. And there's going to be a little bit of uh, uncertainty about how this happened with uh, Ashale Tamene also part of it. The coach then comes in as well. And I think everybody's trying to get everybody out of the area. There's uh, ugly scenes here, lots of pushing and shoving. Tempers flaring. Tanzania perhaps feeling hard done by the calls. But uh, these are not beautiful scenes. Everybody needs to calm down. Keep well, their cool. It's not some of the scenes you want to see in a game of football. Mm, absolutely not. We've got 60 more minutes to play. And so how about you play those 60 minutes with your feet and not with your mouths and hands? Well, there's something that has triggered this. And um, uh, there was uh, Ashley Tamene. In Jersey 15, who was trying to come back, and uh, I think there was uh, a little bit of protest by John Boko as well, and uh, then that uh, turned into something else altogether. But we might just be able to get exactly what happened in it. With John Boko, who was coming uh, close, should have been something off the field of play. John Boko is the captain; should be leading uh, from front. It seems to be insinuating that something happened to him, and. Uh, I think it was triggered from this half. The ball wasn't on this side either. But you can watch it. There is a defender just at the end of your picture here. And a little bit of a push there. A little bit of an altercation here. And they seem to be actually going at each other a bit. And then that time, uh, Girma goes down. Uh, Tamene rather goes down on the ground. <laughs> and a little bit of an admonishing there saying, no way, you are. That's not exactly what happened. And so it will take the assistant referee to tell the referee what exactly happened for him to make any decision about it but i don't think that well the first toss of the coin uh whoever wins the toast then chooses whether they will start by being in goal or they will start by taking a shot i think it is decided then uh, I'm not privy to that information at the moment, but uh, we will be told where it is going to. Probably on the left side of the stadium, where the Ethiopian goalkeeper was last in. Uh, I'm not exactly how, uh, I'm not exactly sure how much comfort that would give him to know that he was already on that side of the field. But uh, penalties are not usually the best ways to decide the winners, but they are one of the modalities of deciding winners. They really are. I mean, nobody has come up with a better idea, Bernard. There was a bizarre one some years back of counting the total corner count, but ultimately it's the ultimate test of physical, technical, and mental metal. 
you, the goalkeeper, 11 meters, one shot. Yeah, well, there was a time when the golden rule was applying as well, in which if he scored in the extra time, the game came to an end at that moment. I, I miss it, Bernard. I miss the golden <laughs> goal. I miss the golden goal so, so much. There's going to be on the right side of the stadium then, from where we are, and not the left side. Uh, it looks like the Ethiopian goalkeeper is more than uh, willing to be the first one to get into goal. Even though the fans uh, would not really care much about which side it would go to. It's still... It's still a very tense moment. And I think the Tanzanians are going to be taking the penalty kicks first. Because that looks like Kimid Mao was going uh, to the spot. So Mao will be the first one. Or is it in Kure in Jazz 11? I think it's, it's in Kure then. And uh, against the goalkeeper Ebo Mamo. And uh, it almost feels like a Russian roulette. The only thing is here you get the same number of uh, shots that everybody has got. And Kuda is the first one then for Tanzania. And Mamo stops it! Uh! And that excites the crowd here because again it, put, it puts the Tanzanians to a disadvantage and puts the Ethiopian side to an advantage. This was well taken but the keeper sees it very very well. Abel Mamo setting the tone. He put it as well to go off to the side but not far enough from the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper sees it all the way, put two palms to it and sends the crowd into a frenzy. Kude making the worst possible start for Tanzania, the penalty kicks. Abel Mamo already setting himself up for stardom. Well, the X would denote that uh, they didn't uh, put it in the net. So it's going to be Ethiopia now taking it against Said Mohammed. And Gatwuch Panoma will be the one to go for it. He already scored one penalty in the game. And usually that's an indication of confidence in taking even another one. But what about Said Mohammed? Can he be up to the task? Or will Ethiopia take another advantage? Oh, well, they do, and the touch Banam puts it in the net. Uh, sends the goalkeeper Saeed Mohamed on the other side and sends the crowd into a near frenzy. Mohamed didn't go to where that ball is. That's perfectly taken to send the goalkeeper down and the ball rolling into the net. This time he goes for the opposite corner. Scored it, a very similar penalty, but to the right side. This time going to the left and once again sending Saeed Mohamed the wrong way. Brilliant penalty by the Ethiopian captain. Well, the captain and the goalkeeper already leading by example. Now it is Imid Mao who's going to be taking it. And a definite advantage that the Ethiopian side have got. We have goalkeeper saving one and the coach putting in one. And Tanzania taking their second penalty. Imid Mao against Ebal Mamo. Mao plants it far away from the goalkeeper. But the Ethiopian side will still be holding the advantage. But Mao using all force and all tact to get this one away from the goalkeeper. That's fantastically done, high and wide. That's why you want to place them, Bernard, not too far wide as to make you nervous, but high and hard enough so that it flies in and are very well taken by Hamid Mao. Even Abel Mamo knows that and applauds it. He didn't even look in that direction he was taking it. He actually looked like he was looking down. Now NASA, in just 11, is the man who's going to take it. Uh, NASA will be coming up against again uh, Said Mohammed, who's already set himself to try and salvage it. NASA puts it in the net. Uh, that's the best way to take the penalty with touch and with the force not to allow the goalkeeper to ever take off in the direction that is definite advantage to the Ethiopian side I think that's the best we've seen so far goes high to the corner every time that corner land, that ball lands into that corner you know it's well taken even if he dived the wrong way 
nothing Said Mohammed was doing about that as it is when the wrong way and Nasser puts Ethiopia back into advantage. The captain on the Ethiopian side has already scored his goal. Will the captain of the Tanzanian side also step up? There's a lot of prayers that will be said from each side wanting their team to go in. But Boko scored the goal in regular time and steps up for his penalty, puts it in the net. And still levels the score at 2 2, of course, from three penalties. So Ethiopia still have the advantage. That one was another well taken one, but this time the goalkeeper sees it. And that's why he's holding his hand because he knows he had that dive the right way, almost having a touch to it. Well, I think he did have but a that touch. touch, not enough. But bounces it in, you know, already past the line. And now it is uh, Asha Leo Tamene, the St. George's player, who will be coming in for the penalty. The advantage is with Ethiopia at 2 2 at the moment, but the Tanzanian side having lost one penalty. So Tamene has got the responsibility of uh, making sure that the advantage stays, and Said Mohamed has got the responsibility of trying to cut that advantage. Tamene puts it in the net. Uh, oh. Oh. I believe that one has been missed. Oh, wait. This one, oh, is out of the field of play. It actually takes a post. And oh, it is in the net. It <laughs> is in the a net. hole into it the, is net. In the net. But that, it goes out on the other side. That is so that hard stage. done that it goes right through the net. Oh, I wonder many. if the referees will check that, but I think the let penalty kicks continue. But that net is due for repair. <laughs> so many ripping now, a hole a right bit through it. That's a little bit confusing, isn't it? Absolutely. That's a little bit confusing now. Here is the shot coming in this time round, put in the net with a very, very hard punch indeed from uh, Hassan Ramadan. And uh, this uh, penalty, the next one, will be very crucial. This one fantastically taken though, brave to go high off the underside of the crossbar and spanks smacks inside. Greatly taken penalty by Hassan Ramadan and he gives thanks for that. Now, this next penalty is very crucial, especially to the Ethiopian side. It's going to be taken by Behailu Girma, the second half substitute. Because if he puts it in, then they'll only need one more. If uh, Said Mohammed pulls it back, then it becomes an oh, advantage to both sides. And Girma has not gotten it right. Very well taken. This one goes low. Ooh, keeper close again. to it. Keeper very, very close to it, but it goes inside. Problem with that net, honestly, because it looked like it went out of the field of play, but it is in the net. So Girma has uh, again given the advantage to the Ethiopian side. Now just two penalties to decide. And if he puts it in, and Ethiopia put in theirs, and Ethiopia will still be the winners here. So it is uh, Chomari Kapombe. You can't afford to miss. They really can't afford to miss high, high stakes for Kapombe here. Well, this is what is called a game ball as well. It puts it in, it puts uh, the Tanzania nation into a little bit of a slim advantage. If he misses it, and he does miss it, which means that Ethiopia will be heading into the semi-finals. Uh, Katsi of the goalkeeper who serves two penalties. They don't even need to take the last one. And a massively big celebration will be in the offing. Poorly taken. Very, very poorly taken. Right at the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper does well to dive, move off his spot, reaches that right, puts more hands to it, saves that. Not as fast. He already saved the very first penalty coming from Jonas Mkude, but he saves that last one from Shamarika Pombe. And tonight, he will be the toast of Addis Ababa, the goalkeeper Adel Ma. Well, the game was looking for a superstar, the game has found a superstar. And um, that is uh, the final score. Tanzania 1 1 in regular time, but ultimately the Ethiopian side winning it by putting in all their penalties. Tanzania losing their two penalties. The last one by Shumarika Pombe. And that is the way.
way it ends at the moment. Ethiopia are in the semi-finals. Fascinating stuff at the Addis Ababa Stadium as the home side Ethiopia have eliminated the Kilimanjaro stars of Tanzania. 1-1 at full time, 4-3 on penalties and it's all celebrations inside the Addis Ababa Stadium as Ethiopia have now made it to the next round. What an atmosphere it is in here and I'm joined by the hero of the day, Abel Mamo. He has served two of the penalties to help Ethiopia make it to the next round. Congratulations for starting us big performance coming in from you on the side for starters let us get you your present it's the zappa hd decoder there please officially hand it over from uh, Ezana Webushet, sales and distribution manager congratulations there you go big performance coming through from abel mamo as he has taken ethiopia to uh, the next round and there is the confirmation shomari kapombe steps forward and abel mamo has sparked celebrations at the Addis ababa stadium and now ethiopia have joined the uganda friends in the next